Hey church, I wanted to share a quick uh, testimony or encouragement for you all. In the wake of this situation, um, I think we do still have a great hope. And Brian um, shared a, a wonderful word in which he talked about um, in the middle of the Civil War, one of the darkest times in our nation's history, uh, what burst forth out of that in the middle of families being split, uh, brothers fighting against other brothers, what happened out of that was a revival. And I want to share a story that ha I had, uh, or an interaction I had with a, a friend of mine at a cafe a couple weeks ago. Um, I have these friends that own a cafe, um, and uh, neither of them are Christians. And they do know that I am a Christian, and uh, we were just having a conversation. Was, this is actually before Christmas, and he was telling me, I just feel like Christmas is just special this year. There's something different about it this year. I said, well, I mean, of course, it's, it's unique every year. Every year's different. And, you know, honestly, I had kind of gotten to the point where I was done with the whole, like, I don't know, like, let's just get 2020 over with. It's just the worst year, blah, 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 all that stuff like that. And, um, and he was talking to me. He was like, no, no. He's like, I just feel like there's, a, there's like a, a revival in the air. Because I, I, I don't know what it is, and I don't know. I, I was talking to these other two Christians that came in here the other day, um, and they were talking about just, I just see the joy that they have. I see the excitement that they have, the hope that they have. There just seems to be a revival. Like, we're on this precipice of revival. Now I'm just sitting there just baffled because I'm like, I thought this is something we only talked about in church, let alone a bunch of, like, secular non-Christians talking about it. And yet he's talking to me and asking to me, and he even began to reference something he had heard about before, which, as it turns out, was the Welsh Revival. Um, and so I just found it really fascinating, and I found it really encouraging that, you know, we can become numb to talking about revival, talking about it, talking about it, hoping for it, praying for it. But when I found someone outside the church that was talking about something different in the air, some excitement, some joy, some precipice of revival in the air, it gave me great encouragement that yes, we are in fact on the precipice of revival. I believe that. And to go along with what Brian was sharing, this word about uh, talking about in the midst of this chaos, in the midst of turmoil, in the midst of division, it was the kingdom of God that broke forth and brought revival. And so I wanted to share that with you right now as an encouragement. And I also wanted to end with just this quote from John Tyson. He's one of my favorites. I've quoted him before. The vast majority of people have gone through 2020 not trusting God, but in self-reliance. And when you look around our culture and those who depend on themselves, those who've been shaken to the core, They've been shaken because the soil of secularism doesn't have the nutrients for the human heart to flourish in times and environments like this. We need more for times like this than our culture has the capacity to give us. We need more in times like this. We need Jesus. We need the bread of life, the river of life to come and fill us with his joy, with, with his love, with with his presence, we cannot live through this experience on our own. The culture simply does not have the nutrients to sustain us. And I think others are beginning to recognize this. Others like my friend in the cafe who, who noticed this joy and life in myself and others who, who follow Jesus that come into his, his store. And others are beginning to realize this too. I believe that. I believe we are on the precipice of revival. And this conversation with my friend really encouraged me that it's not just something that's being said inside the church. It's something that others are recognizing as well. There is a almost like a, a, a revival in the air that's hanging over the air. I believe we are on the precipice of revival. So won't you join with me? in praying and in, in falling on our knees and saying, Lord, let your kingdom come in whatever way that you want to do it, in whatever fashion or form that you want to do it, let your kingdom come, let your will be done right here on earth as it is in heaven. Join with me in prayer today and in this month as we continue to gather and pray 
for revival to come into our nation. Amen. Bless you all.